Hey, Justin here with Dolly House Construction. Before you grab that sledgehammer and start opening up your floor plan, let's make sure that wall isn't the one keeping your house standing. Today we're going to talk about load-bearing walls, how to spot them, what they do, and when to call in the pros before your DIY turns into SOS. These aren't just dividers, they're the backbone of your house. Remove one without support and you risk sagging ceilings, cracked drywall, or worse, foundation issues. At Dolling House, we see it all the time. Someone removes a wall, the house shifts, and suddenly they're calling us for foundation leveling. Three ways to identify load-bearing walls. Number one is orientation. Load-bearing walls usually run perpendicular to floor joists or beams. Check your basement or crawl space. If that wall lines up over a beam or a footing, it's probably carrying weight. Number two is thickness in materials. Thicker walls made of masonry or doubled up framing usually indicate they're bearing load. Interior partition walls, they're thinner and lighter. Number three, support beams and posts. See a beam or a post meeting that wall? That's a big clue it's structural. Those components distribute the weight from above down to the foundation. 